be lying if I said it was not a grind sometimes getting in the car driving roughly an hour but you know I, I love the game I love being around the guys being in the locker room playing in front of the fans it's, it's just exciting and then obviously you know you, you talk about playoff hockey it just gets amped up even more and you know it's it's disappointing last year not obviously finishing the year the way we wanted it to uh, obviously it's six in the back of your mind probably will for the rest of my life but you know we got an opportunity here to uh, try and even a series tomorrow to put ourselves in a situation to get back to the Kelly Cup final against a very good Idaho team. The further you get away from the game, I think the more you miss it. Um, obviously, training camp went by, wasn't there. Road trips, talking to guys like Hawk and Johnny, just trying to be an outsider, but try and be involved as much as you can. It's hard, you know. As it got to be January and February, those conversations became more serious, and, and here we are discussing, uh, you know, being back and, and being excited for game four tomorrow. So um, just looking forward to each and every day at the rink, because you never know when it'll be your last. The drive from Howell, Michigan to Toledo takes roughly an hour and 20 minutes both ways. It is a drive that TJ Hensick has become very familiar with. It's a commitment, but uh, I love hockey. I love being around hockey. I remember the, the first time I drove to Toledo um, to go and experience what it was like. And it, it was my first training camp there. And at the time, you don't really think about, oh, it's going to be an hour drive back and forth. You're just excited to get to the rink. And, uh, you know, a lot of times at the gas station, filling up the pump. But uh, it's worth it. You know, it's worth it to be around the hockey uh, atmosphere there at the Huntington Center. The guys, um, you know, the experiences I've had over the last three and a half years are some of the best I've had professionally uh, playing in front of that crowd. So it's always worth it. Uh, it can definitely be a little stressful at times. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, it's worth it knowing you get to play uh, and put that jersey on again for another time. Away from the rank, Hensick plays his most important role. Along with his wife, Emily, he's got three kids, William, who has become a fixture at the rink, and his twins, Elodie and Harvey. He gets home like, I don't know, sometime in the middle of the night, and then our kids wake us up at 6.30, and it's like, you know, like a rude awakening, like going from one life to the next. So, um, but he's, he does it like, I think, with grace and with ease, and our kids are obsessed with him. We always pick teams, so. I'll be uh, Florida. You're Florida? Well, I'm the walleye. Ready? E C A L. One nothing. Oh, good game. Having a great dad, you know. Every parent has a job, and. My dad is just a hockey player. I want him to play more because it inspires me how I grow up and how I'm following his footsteps and I just want to be just like him and I want him to play forever. It's a cool experience for William to get to be around Sebastian Cosa. I mean that story in itself is a high draft pick for the Red Wings. Gets to interact with hopefully a future starter for the Detroit Red Wings. Um, those are priceless moments. He's lucky, he's fortunate and I hope he looks back on these memories and be like wow that was pretty cool. The decision to come back this year wasn't an easy one. Balancing life as the coach of Williams hockey and baseball teams isn't easy when you're a professional hockey player. But after months of conversations with Dan Watson and some of his teammates, he felt like he had some unfinished business. Especially going back this time, he felt nervous and I was like, take it, you know, like we take life sometimes just one day at a time, one week at a time, one month at a time. We don't have to know what's gonna happen, you know, next year or five years or 10 years. Just, you know, kind of be grateful for the moment that you're in and, um, you know, sometimes as silly as it is, like take it one day at a time. I was upset, but I was like, come on dad, can you play? And I asked him like five times, and now since they were on the 15 winning streak and they lost to Fort Wayne, then they lost to Joe Mizzou, then my dad was like, maybe turn out the wrong time, I was a bad luck charm, and I'm like, no way dude, you brought this team to life, and here we are again. I mean, I don't think if it was with a different organization, I would be still playing. That uh, I can truly say for sure, you know, between Joe and Neil and, and, and Wadi, the relationship's been phenomenal. And I still feel like whenever that day comes um, and I do walk away, I'll still be coming back to Toledo to see games and be a part of that atmosphere. It's just a special, unique place to play. Hensick has made so many memories playing hockey, but maybe the most painful one happened around this time last season. Last year, losing the finals, you know, the memory that probably stick me forever is the emotional toll <laughs> takes on on an eight-year-old that we lose in the finals it's tough so those are memories that you know 
Good or bad, you'll remember for life. Hensick is back for another chance to chase a Kelly Cup, and he knows they've got a special group. He just wants to be a part of it as long as possible. Well, first of all, it's fun. I mean, it's it's a blast. Like I said, playing in front of the crowd last night, down 4-1, just make it 4-2, and somehow we find a way to make it 5-4 and we win. I mean, whether we win this series, lose this series, those moments are, you can't, you can't buy those. You can't go get those. Those are, you know, they're special moments. They're fun, exciting moments. And, uh, you know, I love the game of hockey. Um, always will, no matter where I go. I missed it this year, not playing from the beginning. But, um, you know, like I said, grateful for the opportunity to be back. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm done. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm playing next year. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm just enjoying the ride.